Yes, welcome back everyone to Guild of Heroes. As our hero Hammer is on this journey of killing goblins and trolls and monsters and undead and dwarves and all those exciting things that fantasy players of RPG games do. But here we are. We're uh, last take place in a farm where we, we left off as our hero Hammer. We're facing these goblins and trolls in the farmlands of his kingdom. However, we have done some upgraded guys. You may have not seen it, but I've been playing this game for a few days now just to give a good review and a good test out. The last time we played, we've had um, our, our main character as a knight. Well, now we just switched him over to an archer, a supreme archer. And we're playing in the farmlands. Again, we're playing against some trolls and everything. This is like the very beginning of the game. And um, I'm going to show you how this particular character has all these special abilities. Like right now, I'm just shooting my frost arrows. I'm going to shoot my fire arrow at this guy. And uh, all my special arrows as here. I'm going to heal my guy real quick. But uh, yeah, these guys are just going down. I can put into autoplay. Uh, autoplay works pretty well uh, until you get to some levels where your character just cannot uh, compete with the villains or the enemies that you're competing with just because they're too strong. However, uh, let's collect all our loot. Yeah, look at all this loot. Let's drop some of this loot. This is amazing, guys. In fact, uh, let me... This axe is probably more more cash, so let's let's drop this ring. We don't need that ring. Let's just get the axe. We, we want we want the cash here. All right, let's end this level. Uh, return back to town. So yeah, that was the farmlands again, and uh, I'm gonna show you what the town is all about. So yeah, right now this review of this game again. This game is Guild of Heroes, and uh, it's a free game that you can uh, download on Google Play. Uh, it is a pay-to-play game. However, uh, you don't have to pay to play this game. The gem, the gems that are considered the cons currency of what you can do in this game, does cost a lot of money, and you very rarely get them. If you notice in the top left-hand corner, I only have three gems left. However, you can use your currency, which is also gold, at the top left-hand corner, to uh, do certain things. So right now, I'm in my, I'm in the village. This is the village here. Uh, let's start down at the, the bottom left. So you got right here where this gentleman's standing here in front of me. I'm the guy right here. Let me look at my guy real quick. So this is my, my man. I'm a level 23 archer. Uh, and what's cool about this game is you can upgrade and customize all your equipment. So let's, let's take, look at the hat real quick. Or the, the warren hood of shrine or shining. So let's just say I unequip that, right? Oh, my bag is good. So let's let's see this hat right here. It's a padded cap. So let's equip the padded cap. So what it did is swapped it out. So now I'm wearing a padded cap, right? However, if you notice the red hood uh, of shinies there, it has a little green arrow on the icon. It's saying it's much more su uh, superior. So let's equip that back. And we can do it pretty pretty much for anything. We can do it with the uh, the armor here. Say so now I have armor now instead of that uh, cloak. However, the cloak's telling me it's better. So let's equip it back. So you can upgrade these equipment. You can change equipment out. You have your special abilities at the bottom. So if you can see right there, the uh, splintering arrows. Shoots out three arrows in a fan pattern. Enemies hit take 387 to 60% damage, uh, weapon damage, and also slowed in four seconds. So they get iced, you know. That's a, that's a special ability. That's a special ability. So your special abilities go at the bottom. Your added abilities are at the side for now I have also magic arrows. Your equipment are next to your character. Uh, like so, uh, my ranger arrow. You can move your character around. You can even look at your stats uh, of of your character, offense, defense, you know. Uh, this is your, your, your inventory. So these are all the things you collected throughout your conquest. So man right here at the top is your guild. Uh, whatever guild you join, your clan, However, this does, this only gets opened up until you're level 16. So if you're not level 16, these doors right in front of me, right here, 
are considered close but this is my guild uh, and this is where you can buy more guild weapons or guild stuff uh, so when you go in your dungeon over here located here uh, you can do dungeon raids so this is a pretty extensive RPG but yeah this is the guild master next to the guild master is your your gem master and what this does is um, it refines um, gems as well as best show ability and it breaks it down to um, mana and all that so uh, let's just change something out real quick let's just drop something let's drop that so we can pick that back up uh, next to that is the tavern in the tavern you'll have uh, people who are also playing the game uh, along with all your friends that you uh, acquired so uh, right now uh, it's gonna pull up my friend list so here's my friends these are the people I've, I play with or I have been friend and you can hire them and go along with your quest so like right now I hired the very first guy level 26 and if you look right here John is right here on my le on my right hand corner it says John that's my friend along you can uh, as long as well as you can find strangers in the tavern so if you notice these are all people playing Danny Mr. Kua Mary these are actual people playing so next to him is the wizard in the wizard this is where you can upgrade your special abilities and you and where you can pick your abilities so you have warrior class archer class wizard class right now I'm running the I'm not running the archer here you can upgrade these abilities so if I wanted to upgrade let's say my frozen arrows we just go to upgrade and you can upgrade it it's gonna cost me this much mana and that's where uh, I was saying where you go to your Jew master here you put your you put your um, your gem there and you upgrade it and get mana which is located up here at the top so that's the wizard master next one is your dungeon raids uh, your um, PvP I would say so this is where you can play against players rank players in the guild of, uh, of heroes right now I'm not ranked uh, I would have to choose a teammate to go and play so this is where you choose your teammate this is the history log um, right here so I won the last one this is the, my league located here come on league wait hold on okay so there's my league and there's the shop so you can purchase after you uh, every match you, you win or lose you'll gain these currencies you can buy certain things uh, within this within within there uh, next to him you have your merchant so this is where I'm gonna sell all my stuff so I'm gonna sell my stuff right now that I collected on that last raid so let's, let's sell all this equipment because we don't really we really don't need it so let's just set all that and then we get gold for it so now my gold goes up next to him uh, we have our treasure chest and I think your treasure chest only gets unlocked until level 8 if I remember so here is where we can store things so I just stored that gem thing and have more special abilities so here this is where the jewels so here great monostone so let's take a monostone right let's go back to the the gem guy let's put the monostone there let's extract mana so it's gonna take us half an hour 30 minutes and it's going to cost me 3,717 gold. Well, I have the gold for it. Well, let's hit extract. So now I'm just going to have to wait for about a half an hour and it's going to give me mana. And mana is going to flow at the very top. You see the little blue vial? It uh, says 716. That's where my mana is going to go. So let's kick, pick up that apprentice again. Go back uh, over here. So the merchant, right next to the merchant is my uh, treasure chest where I can store things. So let's just store a bottle of uh, health. Next to the treasure chest, you have a little mailbox where your mail comes in. I don't have any mail. Next to that, we have a mana healer shaman. Right now, I'm, I'm leveling up my uh, recipes to a level 7 potion. But this is where you can make potions. She makes potions and she's located there. Below here, we have the blacksmith. This is where you can upgrade your weapons and your armor. So let's say, say I wanted to upgrade one of my, my armors. We, we'll pick something like, let's say we'll upgrade my uh, necklace right here, my Sapphire Amulet of War. Let's 
upgrade it. So we upgrade it. It's gonna take 570 uh, upgrade blacksmith points. So if you look in your uh, inventory, right? It says my I have apprentice staff that I could craft. It's 53. And then the cell value is 318. I need 570 crafting value. So let's just say I put it in there, right? I now need the additional, because only 53 goes in there. I now need another so much. I think it's what, 537 um, more crafting points in order for upgrading this thing, which I don't. So you have to go quest, right? So let's just hit back. That's your blacksmith, right? Back. Uh, it's located right here at the bottom. Blacksmith right here. The big dude with the big hammer. And at the very top, Let's go back. At the very top, you've got your map. So this this lady right here at the top, you hit the map icon. Is we'll go back to what we just saw recently. So so here's the map. So where we were fighting right now was the windmill, right here with that one that's glowing at the bottom. Uh, you first start off at your castle. It says Gray Haven. Then you go to your farmlands and your windmill, and then you keep going on, keep going on, keep going on. Uh, to the forest, the desolate area on the left, and then now I'm located up in the mountains where there's dwarves. It's kind of crazy. So, this is Guilds of War, and this is actually a pretty crazy game. Um, overall review on this game right now, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, it does take a little time to play, uh, but... If you're just a, I guess you're casual consumer, it's not not too bad. It does take a lot of inventory uh, management, and it does take a little bit of kind of understanding how certain things go, uh, where like uh, abilities at the bottom here located. See, so like my Billy, I can clone my 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 character. So now I'm walking as the clone, and then my uh, my highlighted character is the one that's going to be attacked. You shoot like your arrows, you know, my archers. So it doesn't it does it doesn't take that much, but it does take a little bit of learning of how, how things are done. Uh, what I do have a problem with this game though is the gems. The gems are far and few, you don't get very much of it. And in this game, everything costs gems. So let's for instance, let's go to the merchant. So if I wanted to buy anything in here, they're all gems. Except for this booster packer. This booster pack here costs me mana, but that's a lot of mana, right? I'm not gonna use that kind of mana to purchase that. But where you, where do gems do come in is like, let's go to storage. Now, if I wanted to expand my storage, I'm gonna have to pay 40 gems. That's a lot of gems, I only have 30. If I wanted to expand my inventory, it's cost me 50 gems. That's a lot of gems. I don't have that much money. That's the problem, you know what I mean? If I wanted to just quick step something, it's gonna cost me gems, the blacksmith. It's gonna cost me 60 gems to open up in blacksmith area if I want to upgrade something let's see yeah, upgrade there and I'm gonna upgrade that without anything it's gonna cost me 30 gems I think that's the one drawback about this game this is a game where yes it's fun to play you don't have to do anything but it's gonna cost you gems and if it's a paid-to-play game I think this is a true paid to play game however you don't necessarily as you can see this map you don't necessarily need gems to play this game because I I've been enjoying it without it I mean, cool, you get to see people with crazy stuff. Let's go back to the, uh, so he likes his good, see this guy right here. Master is his name. Look at, look at his outfit. That is crazy. He had tier, uh, purple, uh, blue icon tier, I think, let's see this. Tier two abilities. And he's a level 34. I mean, he must, he must have either been playing this game for a while or he's, he's, he pay, he's playing to play. Look at his weapon. He has a weapon that's 2.2k, 2,000 worth of damage he's causing with that sword. If we look at my character, my bow is only causing 216 damage. His sword's ca causing 2,000 damage. Come on, guys. That's crazy. So, yes, it, it, I mean, he could have he been playing this game for a while. Or he could have just bought gems and maybe boosted up his thing. However, it does it is it is played random, so he could he could have randomly got stuff. You know, I'm not saying it's not that hard to do, but it's possible. 
but I think it's even it's actually even better if you just pay, right? So let's just let's just finish up the meal. Let's just go ahead and finish up this meal real quick and show up the gameplay again. But again, we're playing back in the farmlands and this is where we kind of left off in the farmlands. Let me just show you the first boss you, you meet in farmlands and it's going to be a troll. So I'm just going to put in an autoplay right now and have my character just automatically do things. In fact, you know what? Let's let's manually let's manually fight. Let's just show it off. Manually fight. So let's shoot my arrows. Clone my guy real quick. Run out of the way and then manually auto. So manually auto is just gonna manually do things for your spells and everything. Makes the game go faster. I'm just taking down these um, little goblin trolls like there's like there's no business. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna kill all these guys real quick. Show you even the boss. The boss should be out pretty soon. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna bust out my friend real quick. Here's my friend. Here's John. So now we're gonna take this guy down like it's nobody's business. We're gonna kill this guy in like seconds. And there he goes. That's your final boss. And let's collect all the loot. I will show you what's kind of crazy about this. That's this end this level. Is every boss level when you get at the end you get three, I guess, uh, cave bonus points. Like it says three burrow keystones. You get these keystones that you can afford to go and uh, unlock these caves. And within these caves there's like treasures that you can use but you need so many keystones to do that every little district has these keystones so in that little district that's three like uh barley keystones or whatever however every boss you kill you'll get this treasure chest and in these treasure chests they'll have either special abilities or uh gear or weapons and i'm going to show you one of them i'm going to open it up so we're back in uh, in gray haven and this is right here is your ability chest so contains three ability gems, may contain an uncommon or rare. So we open it up. And these are the three abilities that you could probably get. Right? So you get a warrior class, a mage class, or an archer class. But you're only going to get one unless you want to buy uh, another one for gems. So right now, since I'm the archer, I kind of want to want this ability, but I already have quick dash. So it doesn't really matter. Let's just open it up and it doesn't matter which one we get. So we get the wizard's class one. And now if I want to open up another one, I'm gonna have to pay 15 gems. That's what I mean. Gems, 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 right? So let's just close it. So here's that ability, magic missile, right? But right now I'm not the wizard, so I can't use it. So let's just store it for now. Uh, let's take out vial of potion. Put that in there, bingo. And then let's, let's go to the merchant and let's just sell everything. Except for the vials. There you go. So what we can do is I'm just going to save those abilities. And then again, when I have free time, I'll just use the uh, the gem guy to extract the powder for it. That's further explanation of how the powder works. But that, what it does, it upgrades your abilities uh, when you extract abilities. But yeah, that's Guild of Wars. Uh, um, Guild of Heroes, sorry. And I enjoy it. I think out of a score of, of 1 to 5, this game's a pretty decent 4. Uh, I'll give it. It's a free pay-to-play game again. Here's my character. Uh, it does it does cost a little money for gems, but you don't need it. My level my level 23. Looks pretty cool, you know, archer and everything. But uh, yeah, I'll give it a rating of four. I'm probably gonna do another uh, video on it just uh, in the future, just to see how far my characters got. But other than that, it's a pretty good game. Again, guys, I'm Hammer. Thanks for watching. This is Dreams for Geeks. Stay tuned. Subscribe and like. Thanks.